there's only, I suppose, so much you can track during a game. Like I think most clubs in the world would be doing GPS data. Um, and I definitely, we had that at Melbourne City. We had some really good um, SNCs and some good data taken in most games. I think the difference probably here in England that I've found is some of the, um, the technology they use to record things for us in the gym. So there's a lot of different jump testing uh, I don't even know what you call them, like machines. There's, you know, plates on the floor that measure the force, the speed, the height of a jump, single leg jumps, um, different power machines um, that tell you how quickly you lift uh, a trap bar in terms of um, recording different powers and speeds of that as well. Like there's so many different technologies within the gym um, atmosphere that uh yeah are pretty incredible and they get so much information so much data you know we get tested uh the day after every game to show sort of levels of fatigue they test different tests for our hamstrings that will show if you know you're you're ready to train after playing a game the day before um so that's all injury management um and obviously shows how quickly you're recovering um, from games so there's different technologies in terms of that that I haven't seen until I got over here to Arsenal and um, yeah it's pretty impressive and we're grateful to have access to that sort of stuff and a club that supports us um, in doing that kind of kind of thing and great SNCs that are always pushing the boundaries and asking for you know different techniques and stuff like that so we're, we're very grateful for that. I think the main thing that it prevents is injuries because um, I suppose sometimes as a player if you look at us Australians playing in the league the travel we're doing with the amount of games that we're playing um, that is high risk for injury and if we didn't have the sort of technology that we have to, to test where our, our body's at when we get back off a flight if we're actually ready to play um, along with all of our personal, what we're telling them, how we feel, how we're sleeping, all that kind of thing. When you match them up, they're able to have a clear picture of um, whether we are fit enough, whether we're in a good place to, um, you know, put us out in the field. I think it's so, so important because as players, if they ask us, you know, are you ready to play? We're always going to say yes. And that's sometimes not what's best for your body and that's not what's best for the team. So. Yeah, I think that sort of thing is really, really important and um, would be, I hate talking about injuries, but would be reducing um, injuries in the league and in our team, definitely. That's sort of um, where the pioneering comes into it and um, a lot of us players that have come through in this generation have um, obviously been through playing football without these things and with these things. So we've had the benefit of seeing that growth and seeing the difference that it makes. And it is something that is necessary when you're playing at the top level and you know, you're under pressure and there's high demands and um, you're playing so many games, training so many training sessions. Um, you need that support and you need people around you that um, know what it looks like. <laughs> to keep you at the top level and, and protect you as a, an athlete and protect you as a human being as well. So yeah, it is pretty amazing and I, it's going to keep growing, it's going to keep getting better, you know, as technology does and as the um, scope for women's football continues to grow as well, I think, you know, that we're, they're going to have more access to things like this that are only going to help um, improve the standard, reduce injuries and um, yeah, keep women's football flying. As female footballers, we want the best person in the role possible. So whether that's a male or a female, um, whoever you know, whoever's best in the role is what's going to be best for the team. But um, there is sort of a there is an argument to say that obviously a female would understand the way that a female's body works probably better, in a sense. Um, but also in saying that, like at Arsenal right now, we're doing. Um, studies into the menstrual cycles and how that affects, you know, training regimes and how it affects, um, you know, the ability for someone to play at their highest level on any given day. And they're doing um, sort of, you know, groundbreaking research and trying to, um, yeah, tap into that, I suppose, and, and learn as much as they can to, to help us on a day-to-day -day basis because it is 
an area that isn't really spoken about that much. And yeah, it's an it's an interesting one, and it's obviously specific to female athletes only. So um, yeah, having that kind of research is is pretty incredible, and yeah, something that our club's doing really well. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.